Good afternoon, everybody. This is Viper GTS, and after all the international reviews I've been doing, it's time to come home to a little red, white, and blue U.S. menu number five, chicken with tomatoes and feta cheese. This is sometimes also referred to as the Mediterranean chicken, and it's from 2012, AmeriQual Pact. And I did want to highlight the blade I'm going to be using to open this up. It is an M4 bayonet, and it comes in the MHA1 sheath. And this was beautifully restored by Matt Berry. He's a local blacksmith here. And he was on Forged and Fire twice. He got second place the first time, and then he actually won a double episode version of it the following year. Um, so thanks to Matt Berry. He owns Hopkins Forge, which is in Connecticut. And I'll link him up on the next slide uh, and show you a bunch of pictures of what amazing things he can do. He does a lot of custom weapons and jewelry, um, but yeah, some of the stuff he does is amazing. I was lucky enough to go and visit him and his shop, and it was outstanding. Thanks, Matt. Okay, so let's dig into this number five, chicken with tomatoes and feta cheese. Uh, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes or feta, but we'll give it a try. Some people said this is the best one they've ever had. Other people don't like it at all. Um, it ran from 2010 to 2014. So let's use our nicely restored blade here and get this opened up. All right. Let's see what's inside. So it is the normal double packed Ameriqual. Pretty much, I think I've never seen one that isn't double bagged from them. Get rid of that. Alright, we've got a hot beverage bag. Normal FRH. Standard spoon, nice and sturdy. Got the old style fruit punch beverage powder. Sorry, that's not focusing very well. Yeah, this is the full sugar variety. Pack of cheese spread. Got the vegetable crackers. First strike chocolate. The old standby cranberries osmotic. Accessory pack A, so that is, I think it's just your standard coffee one here, nothing too special in there. Cinnamon gum on the back. Then our old boxed items here. One is the cornbread stuffing. Heard horrible things about this, but some people love it. Um, date on this is 2273, so this is 2012. And then finally our main, the chicken with tomatoes and feta cheese. Let's get some snacks going, get the FRH moving, and try this out. The accessory pack contained all the normal stuff. Salt, sugar, coffee instant type 3, a couple pieces of cinnamon gum, the non-dairy creamer, napkin toilet paper, moist towelette, and a red tip matches. Out comes our cornbread stuffing. I've seen other people review this, but this ration actually hasn't been reviewed in a long time, so I figured why not open this up. So we got the cornbread stuffing there, 2273. It feels extremely hard, but I did have this in a very cold place, so that could just be why. And then down here we do have the chicken tomato feta. Open this up as well. This feels pretty solid too, okay. There we go, chicken with tomatoes and feta cheese. 2252. I've got a cup of pre salted water, so we're going to supercharge our FRH, so hopefully it works. Let's give it a try. Okay, so pre salted water goes in. Pretty close, alright. Level this out for a quick second. Put one on each side because we're going to try to do both at the same time here. Let's see if we can squeeze it back into one of these boxes. It's fighting me. Alright, in we go. 10-15 minutes, we'll flip them around, and uh, should be all set. 
So the crackers had a great hiss to them. Um, they looked like they were over vacuumed because they just shredded up into little tiny pieces like this. But uh, cheese spread, I needed that for a little while. And uh, looks good, smells good. Tastes just fine. And these cranberries are usually a little more shiny, I guess is the word. Um, so maybe just age got to these a little bit. Let's try them out. Yeah, still tastes great. Nice and fresh. If anything, they, they actually taste a little bit sweeter than, than the new ones do. But, uh, you know, nice little snack on the road. And we're going to save our first strike bar for dessert because they are so damn awesome. They make a great dessert. FRH is still working. A couple of minutes. We should be ready. Oh yeah, and I um, also bagged up our red dye number 714. Let's get that out into the glass here. And this is the electrolyte variety of it. So uh, yummy, yummy. It seems like the FRH has stopped working, so that's probably going to be as bad as good as we're going to get. It did work pretty well on the start, but cooled down pretty fast too. First start off with that cornbread. It always looks pretty horrible when I'm seeing other people do it. Vertical tear notch, or sorry, horizontal tear notch on this one. Ah, oh, yeah. Looks like a pancake in there. It's 2012, I mean, it's not that old, but I'm not sure how well this was meant to survive. And then onto the main, which is the chicken tomato feta. Looks like real chicken. Nice. It's got a great smell to it. Alrighty, let's dig in. Quality looks good. Nice big pieces of chicken. You know, it looks like chicken completely. Okay, yeah, FRH worked pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna lean towards the fact that I really like this one. This is actually pretty good so far. This kind of scares me a bit because it just looks like a pancake. It doesn't like, you know, stuffing or you know, anything that I've seen before come out of a stovetop box. Flavor is not bad, texture's way off. A um, little bit of sage in there, something like that. Hint of black pepper, but it doesn't taste like any stuffing I've ever had before, really. I guess it's about right, but texturally it's just kind of like a mush. But the main is great. Perfect salt. Nice big pieces of chicken right there. See tomatoes. Possibly looks like maybe basil. It does have a pretty strong basil flavor to it. Um, the feta doesn't come through that much. A little bit. I think it just adds the salt to it. There's no visible pieces of feta cheese that I can tell. Um, so it might just be part of the sauce. But I'm going to keep eating it because it tastes darn good. Not bad for being, uh, what's that, about seven years old at this point. Nice. If I had a whole cracker, this would probably be pretty good on a cracker. But all I have is little bites. Um, got shredded up. I mean, I don't know how this was stored before I got it. Once I had it, it was stored right, but God knows what happened before. But it's good. It doesn't need hot sauce, doesn't need salt, doesn't need pepper. So, there you go. Try out our red drink. High sea fruit punch all the way. And that's definitely a red dye number 406. Um, so I was wrong before. Might as well go ahead and try to mix some of this stuffing in here to see if that maybe helps it out a little bit. 
both at once maybe, I don't know. Worth a shot, I guess, right? Oh, yeah. The stuffing really doesn't work. I don't, I don't know why they bother with that. Because, you know, stuffing doesn't really scream out Mediterranean to me. But, uh, yeah, that's what they did. So I took a look, and the sodium level is extremely high. If you can focus there. The sodium is 1120, so that's 47% of your daily. So it's, it is quite salty. It still tastes great, though. I'm going to finish this up, and we'll get to the uh, first strike bar. So in all, it was a pretty good meal. I mean, the stuffing is a no for me, but the main was great. A little salty, but who doesn't like salt, right? And first strike bars, these are always good. Probably going to eat most of this while I'm doing the editing, but... Uh, you know, these are always good. The uh, Cran Raz one is better. But nice little crispies in there. Good sweetness. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.